Welcome everyone to episode 18 of the 3FG Don't Starve Beginner's Guide to Winter. I am planting uh, the rest of my trees here, just getting everything nice and organized and recycled. And you are seeing the beautiful snowfall of winter. We are almost at the end of winter. It's day 33, and I believe it's day 35 is when we're going to start seeing winter start starting to come to a close. So, we're almost there. Ah. And you are hearing the sultry sounds of the hounds. They are fast, nasty creatures who have you only on their mind and want to invite you over for dinner. You being the main course. So, we are going to finish clearing up this uh, area because we have just a few more grunts before they start chasing us. Did not mean to do that, darn it. And uh, let's, uh, while I'm at it, let's get some food in us before they start chasing us. Oh, look at that. The pingles are gone. Great. We can start collecting the eggs, but we'll do that in a minute after we... Uh, let's get the fire going here. And here they come. Hey, fella. Hey, fellas. Okay. Follow me. It's time to go on a trip. We're going to go see my big, fluffy, uh, horned fellas. Because you guys are just a little too nasty for my taste, and I don't play well with nasty dogs. So, keep following me. Probably should have left Chester behind, but it looks like he's doing okay so far. Okay, spoke too soon. Okay, so, just a little bit further. Here we are. Okay, guys, attack for me, okay? Come on. Do your stuff. Protect your children. Come on. Okay, it's starting to get night. we got to pull out our torch here. And, uh, and then we probably should set up um, another one. So that way we're in the clear. Nice. I hear the carnage in the distance. Chester sounds like he's getting a beating right now. And the people aren't getting the hint. Come on, guys. You got this. Oh, man. Chester is just getting wrecked. Come on. Attack one of the beefalo. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There we go. Come on. Come on. Okay. Man. Just can't get him away from Chester. Let's uh, do this for, for safety here. Oh, it's about time. Well, I'll give props to Chester. He can take a beating. And we've ran out of space. So, Chester, here you go. Take some of my unnecessaries right now. So, we're almost on the cusp of day, so... We'll just wait it out. Man. That hound just wouldn't let up. Symphony of Snoring. Okay, let's go collect the spoils. Because that's what you do after a massive, you know, dog and buffalo fight. You go and pick up their poop and... 
collect their teeth, am I right? I mean, that's the natural thing to do in that scenario. You know, you wouldn't run for your life screaming and then never go back again. You'd go back to the scene of the crime and, you know, pick up some dump. I mean, it seems very natural to me. So I figured I'd collect some tufts while these uh, beefalo disperse a little bit more. Get myself back up to uh, back up to forty if I can. that? You see that? That is melting snow. And melting snow only means one thing. We are close to finishing winter. Yes! I don't think it's going to be the end of winter because you, as you can see right there, that little bunny that just ran past me, he, uh, he's white still. And until he's brown, it's not, winter is not over. And it can still snow. So that, so don't be putting away, we're not going to be putting away our uh, winter hat and puffy vest just yet. But we are so darn close. Oh my gosh, there's still another hound. whether I want to attack him or not. Yeah, let's, let's give it a whirl. Oh, man. So, as you can see, it's not that hard to kill him. When, with the right tool, that is, obviously. Okay, so the, the nests are gone, and so are a number of the eggs, which is kind of a bummer, but eh, it's not that bad. But, uh, but what it does leave is those little broken cracked eggs, as you can see. Those are... Uh, are going to be fertilizer for us. So that'll be good. Like to keep things uh, nice and even here. Ugh, I forgot how hard it is to see the ground once the snow's gone. It's crazy. Oh, see, here's some snow again. That's okay. That's gonna happen. You know, some residual snowfall before winter ends. But like I said, I believe day 35 is gonna be the last day for us. Fertilizer. Hear the bees in the background, the little humming that was going on in the background. Again, another sign that winter is coming to a close. Spiderness still on a second tier. I think it's right on the edge of becoming a third tier. One thing you want to remember again, and I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but um, make sure you're a decent distance away from the spider nest when you decide to attack other spiders. Unless you're, you know, on the last few spiders of that wave. Um, 
because um, if you're at the beginning of the of the wave of spiders and you attack them too close to home, that's when you unleash the you know more aggressive spiders out of the nest. So um, leave the traps to do their thing. Where did all the eggs go? That's a bummer. There's got to be some eggs around here somewhere. I'm looking around on the map to see where the little pangle symbol is to see if we can, you know, locate their ice nests and see if there's any uh, leftover eggs. Yep, see, there's one right there. Okay. Okay, so we got some fertilizer eggs and one, one almost, I assume, almost rotting egg. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's almost on its last leg here. So we could either try and cook it later or just leave it to rot and become, you know, fertilizer again. So like uh, like I said probably way back in the series um, is, you know, you have that small window with the eggs where, you know, um, if you collect them right away, um, right as the penguins leave, then you have some, you know, decent food if you want it. But um, but if you leave it for a day or more, then um, they start rotting and and you you know kind of wasted your your period of time. But in this case, we didn't really have an option because hounds were chasing us, and staying alive is just a little bit more important than having fresh eggs for breakfast. So um, yeah, that's that's my crazy theory on it. But you guys can let me know in the comments if I was way off base on that one. monster meat. And again, guys, um, I've said this before, but um, if you guys have any uh, requests as far as, you know, what you'd like to see in the game, you know, or you want some advice on certain things in the game, I'm, I'm totally open to answering any question you guys might have if you can't figure something out or you're looking for a cool technique or something. Um, I can either answer you in the comment or I could do a video on it. You know, I'm always up for that because I'm playing this game all the time. I love it. And so um, if you guys want me to do anything, just let me know in the comments. I'll see what I can do. I remember to be the last day of winter. Sorry about the delay here. I'm just kind of checking out my, uh, out my inventory here to see what I haven't made yet and what I potentially could make. All right. So I'm full on my stomach. But now we can make a crock pot. Because those annoying pangles are out of the way. So now I can have symmetry. Well, I can't have symmetry because of the other one I got impatient and put it up there, but that's okay. Oh, no space. Yes, no space. I, know. I get it. All right. All right, guys. I'm going to make this crock pot, but we are coming to the end of our next episode. Okay, guys, so we are coming up to the end of episode 18 of the Don't Starve Survival Guide to Winter from 3FG. Um, we are literally um, at the end of winter here. We have one more episode to go, episode 19, and then that's pretty much going to be it. We're going to have made it through winter. We're doing great so far. I don't see why that's going to change in the next episode. Hopefully it won't, but uh, I will see you guys in episode 19.
Thanks for watching. Bye.